the relationship between the organism and the environment is transactional. The environment grows the organism and in turn the organism creates the environment. The organism turns the sun into light but it requires there to be an environment containing a sun for there to be an organism at all. And the answer to it is simply they're all one process. It isn't that organisms by chance came into this world. Put it rather that this world is the sort of environment which grows organisms. It was that way from the beginning. Just in the same way, for, I mean, the organisms may in time have arrived in the scene or out of the scene later than the beginning of the scene. But from the moment it went bang in the beginning, that's the way it started. Organisms like us, us sitting here, were involved in it. You see, look here, let's take the, the propagation of an electric current. Although uh, in, in the development of any physical system, there may be billions of years between the creation of the most primitive form of energy and then the arrival of intelligent life. That in billions of years is just the same thing as the trip of the current around the wire. It takes a little time. But it's already implied. It takes time for an acorn to turn into an oak. But the oak is already implied in the acorn. So in any lump of rock floating about in space, there is implicit human intelligence. Sometime, somehow, somewhere. They all go together. So don't differentiate yourself and stand off against this and say, I am a living organism in a world made of a lot of dead junk, rocks and stuff. It all goes together. Those rocks are just as much you as your fingernails. You need rocks. What are you going to stand on? Our common sense has been rigged, you see, so that we feel strangers and aliens in this world and this is terribly plausible simply because it's what we're used to that's the only reason but when you really start questioning this say is that the way I have to assume life is I know everybody does but does that make it true it doesn't necessarily it ain't necessarily so And so then, you, as, as you question this basic assumption that underlies our culture, you find you get a new kind of common sense. It becomes absolutely obvious to you that you are continuous with the universe. For example, people used to believe that the people who lived in the Antipodes would fall off. And that was scary. But then when somebody sailed around the world and we all got used to it and now we, we travel around in jet planes and everything, we have no problem about feeling that the earth is globular. None whatever. We got used to it. Well, in a few years, it will be a matter of common sense to very many people that they're one with the universe. It'll be so simple. And then maybe, if that happens, we shall be in a position to handle our technology with more sense. With love instead of with hate for our environment.